Hey there, my name is Amanda, also known as Keto Ginger, and happy Monday to you. I have lost 120 pounds on the keto diet. It took me a year and I have been in maintenance mode for just over a year. On our channel, we do a lot of keto and family friendly content. Basically, we show you a lot of really amazing recipes that even your non-keto family and friends will love. We are still fat kids at heart. And what I mean by that is that we still love delicious indulgent food. So that's what we're doing here. Today, we are doing a sauce off. I didn't realize how naughty that sounded when I started like kind of putting the words together. If you think that sounds naughty, I'm sorry, but we're doing a sauce off. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my three favorite condiments that are in our refrigerator at all times. It's one of the most important steps to my meal prepping for the week is to have my quick and convenient condiments that are not only keto friendly, but absolutely delicious and contain really great ingredients compared to what you would find in a bottle. So today is a sauce off. I don't know. Alexa, play battle music. New and brainstorm gems on Amazon Music. Curious. A sauce off. First, I'm making myself a cup of coffee, which is my beloved collagen coffee. It's super, super easy. It's a cup of coffee, a scoop of collagen powder, and then about a tablespoon or two of half and half. It just depends how creamy I want it that day. I blend it up. This is gonna keep me kicking while I make all these beautiful sauces with you guys. The most wonderful part of the day. We are going to start with the first sauce and that is the horsey mayo. This is the easiest of the three, so I'm going to show it first. It takes only two ingredients. It's that easy. Mayonnaise and cream style horseradish. Now sometimes the cream style horseradish is in the pickle aisle of the grocery store or sometimes it is in the deli lunch meat area. So let's get it going. Into a small Tupperware container. I am going to add about a cup of mayonnaise. I eyeball the cream style horseradish because I know that we like it on the stronger side. I don't usually measure this, but if you're someone who likes a more mild horseradish flavor, or you're not sure if you like horseradish mayo at all, start easy. Ours usually ends up with about two tablespoons to the one cup of mayo. Next, I take my little handy dandy Dollar Tree whisk and whisk this up very, very well. Once you get it all whisked up, go ahead and give it a taste. That way you can see if it needs a little more horseradish or a little bit more mayo. All right, that's all there is to this simple horseradish mayo sauce. I am going to throw a lid on it and this will hang out in the fridge for about a week. Typically, I like to make it a little bit ahead of time just with all sauces. They taste better when they've had time to marinate in the refrigerator. What we use this for is lunch meat roll-ups. Our favorite is roast beef. And then we also use it as a dipping sauce for steak. Super easy, right? If you are not familiar with Yum Yum Sauce, it's the delicious pinkish, whitish cream sauce that they serve you at hibachi restaurants. It's really amazing for egg roll on a bowl, but also makes a great dipping sauce for a bunch of other things as well. We also love it with egg salad and just on scrambled eggs. So here's what you'll need for Yum Yum Sauce. It's one tablespoon of melted butter, a quarter cup of water, one and a quarter cups of mayo, if you're feeling adventurous, please make your own. Then some seasonings. We will need a quarter teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and then a one and a half teaspoon of sweetener of your choice. I'm using Iris Ritol today. And then last but not least, you're going to need one and a half teaspoons of sugar-free ketchup of your choice. I am using the bitter end of my classic Alterna Sweet, so I'm probably going to have to add a little bit of their spicy ketchup in with my ketchup. That's it. To my melted butter, I'm going to add the quarter... Uh, take two. I have a situation. Ugh. Melted butter. 
quarter teaspoon of paprika, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons of keto sweetener of your choice. Next, add the one and a half teaspoons of sugar-free ketchup of your choice. I'm going with Alterna Sweets because it is my favorite. Then we add the cup and a quarter of mayo. So at this step, I give it an initial little whisk of the ingredients just to get it started mixing. I am going to add my quarter cup of water that I dumped a bunch of paprika into. That's okay. Everybody's going to the same place. Now, I chose the worst container possible for this, naturally. <laughs> I should have gone with a slightly larger container, but I'm trying to keep things kind of organized in my refrigerator. Now, we whisk this until your arm is tired. You really need to emulsify this for the butter and the mayo and the water to all marry together so that it doesn't break down on you when it's in the fridge. So I just whisk the ever-loving you-know-what out of this. Then I'm gonna taste it, see if it needs any extra ingredients, and then that's gonna go in the fridge too. My yum yum sauce is all done. It is super liquidy at first. This is absolutely normal. Once it hangs out in the fridge for a few hours, it gets a lot thicker and even more creamy. I really ideally like to let it sit overnight. This works amazing for so many different things, but my favorite thing to do is to use it on top of egg roll in a bowl or just as a dipping sauce for like chunked chicken. It is so delicious. I really hope you make it. Mine's super orange. I got carried away with the paprika, as you can see here, but it's going in the fridge. Next up is my homemade ranch dressing. This is super easy and you can tweak the seasonings to your own taste. First, you're gonna need a cup of mayonnaise and a cup of sour cream. You're also going to need about a quarter cup of unsweetened original almond milk. For seasonings, we're gonna use two tablespoons of dried parsley, one and a half teaspoons of dried chives, three quarters of a teaspoon of onion powder, one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder, three quarter teaspoons each of salt and black pepper. Next, you're gonna to wanna to find your crappiest Aldi lunch meat container to mix up a bunch of ranch dressing because we are high class around here. I always eyeball this and kind of taste and tweak as I go. That's just my method. So first we're going to start with the cup of sour cream. Next, we are going to add a cup of mayonnaise. In case you haven't picked up on it, it's equal parts sour cream to equal parts mayonnaise in case you wanna make a double batch. Next goes in the quarter cup of almond milk. Now we whisk. We like our ranch dressing to be on the creamy side because more often than not, we use it as a dip and not a salad dressing. So if you like your ranch to be on the thinner side and you wanna use it more ideally as like a salad dressing, just add a tiny bit more almond milk until you get the consistency and texture that you like. So we're gonna whisk this all together and then we'll start adding up the seasonings. Now on to the seasonings. We are going to start with about two tablespoons of dried parsley. You can go less or more on this. It just depends on your own personal taste. Next, we are going to add about a teaspoon and a half of dried chives. Next is one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder. Now, don't do what I'm doing. Measure this better. This is so dangerous. Uh, one and a half teaspoons, okay, okay. Next, three quarters of a teaspoon of onion powder. Onion powder is strong, so take it easy. Three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. And three quarters of a teaspoon of black pepper. Now, 
get back to the really heavy whisking. We are going to whisk this like crazy until it is completely incorporated. Then like all of the others, we are going to give it a taste and see if it needs any additional seasoning. That's all there is to our homemade ranch dressing. You could easily add less garlic or add some dill, just really doctor it up however you like it. We're not huge dill fans, so I don't add it, and this is really our favorite recipe for it. This will keep in the fridge for at least a week, but it never lasts that long in our house. That's it. See how thick? Yum. I am a condiment maniac. Before I started keto and really any other way of eating, like any time that I've ever changed the way that I'm eating, condiments is always my number one fear and concern because I am just someone who loves sauces and dressings. I love ketchup, I love mayonnaise, I love all of those things. So it was really easy for me to make the decision to plunge into keto because I was still able to have things like ranch dressing, mayonnaise, there's a lot of really great sugar-free ketchups out there. I just really love a sauce. I think sometimes I'm enjoying my food more based on the condiment than the actual food that I'm eating. <laughs> so we did the horseradish mayo, horsey mayo. We did a nice tub of yum yum sauce and a big tub of ranch dressing. Now periodically as they sit in the fridge I'll usually go in and give them a shake just to make sure that they're kind of marrying together in there but any sauce that you make from scratch really should have a few hours to sit in the fridge before you eat it. Just to recap what these are really great for, the horseradish mayo we use as a steak dipping sauce. We no longer use things like A1 and the sugar-free steak sauces on the market are just not my favorite so we've kind of switched over from steak sauce and started doing the creamy horseradish sauce for steak. We also really like to make roast beef and cheese lunch meat roll-ups and add some of the horseradish mayo to that. It's really good on lunch meat. Then yum yum sauce. Obviously, it's great with any type of Asian-inspired cuisine. So egg roll in a bowl or keto-fied egg rolls, any type of stir-fry yum yum sauce is great. We've also found that it's great as just a regular dipping sauce. I love just regular grilled chunks of chicken dipped into yum yum sauce. I also really like it as an egg salad dressing and it's also great on an omelet or on scrambled eggs. Yum yum sauce is very versatile and absolutely delicious. If you haven't made it yet, I hope that you will. And then ranch, drink it out of a cup. Like what, what can't you do with ranch dressing? Ranch dressing is one of the most perfect condiments. I am so, so pro ranch dressing. It is probably the main reason why I was able to switch to keto in the first place because someone said the magic words, hey, you can still have ranch. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of our favorite condiments in the house. These are staples. They are in our fridge at all times. If Cribs came over to check in our fridge, they would be there. I hope you'll consider making some of your own condiments and I can't wait to see what you think of them. Have an amazing day and I will see you super soon.